All right, welcome back to Dead in Vinland, where I think we're gonna have Moira focus on removing the injuries from Shauna and Eustache. Uh, Bloodwed is gonna craft. Uh, Tomoe and Knut are going to work on their depression. Eric is going to forge armor. I wonder, 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 should we do party mode? Let's do party mode. See what happens. Dog is gonna get it because we can. Let's see, we have dried some food. I think I'm gonna grab some meat as well from our traps. But I'll do that later. Okay, uh Kari is gonna explore on her own and uh look for a fight. Why not? Get some level ups. But before we do all of that, let's see if we can do this. A stairway to hell. Enter. Alright. I think it's gonna be you, Kari. Let's try it. You stare at the entrance of the volcano. You feel your will waver for a split second. You put on the Oracalcum armor. Weirdly, it's not that heavy, but very cumbersome. Will it really work? You shiver. You walk a few steps down. You feel that at the end of the stairs lies boundless power. You can feel it in the air and in your nerves. Continue. You take a deep breath and go down a few steps further. A golden mist is gathering around your feet. Apparently there's an eagle overhead. Continue. You go down again, slowly, carefully. The golden mist is now engulfing your whole body. Continue. You go down a few more steps. The air is now filled with the golden mist. It's difficult to see anything anymore. Continue. You were starting to lose your senses because of the mist when you saw little shimmering lights floating in the air. They help you to follow the stairs down without colliding into the walls. Continue. You walk a few steps down. You didn't notice until now, but your head is loudly resonating with the sound of a heartbeat. You feel the earth trembling under your feet, keeping balances harder and harder. At last, you reach the bottom of the stairs and enter a large circular room. The air here is filled with power. You can almost feel it pushing you outside of the room. At the center of the room, you see a circular opening. Waves of golden mist filled with glowing particles are flowing from it. The heart of the volcano, that's it. You only have to bring the skull artifact right there. You make a step, but it's like walking into an invisible wall made of jelly. Every move is so hard. You're so close, you must do it. There is no turning back. Take a step. Closer, one step closer. Be strong. Oh, great. You can't budge anymore, it's too hard. The armor is starting to crack. are pushed back by the sheer force of the mist. You're so close, you must do it. There's no turning back. Closer, one step closer. Be strong. You can do it. You can. Hang in there. Yes. You're almost there. As if the volcano knew it was going to die, it sends a last wave of power in your face. Uh, dirge. You take the skull from your backpack, and in an ultimate effort, you... Put it in the heart of the volcano. Instantly, you feel a strong, invisible deflagration under your feet and in your whole body. The flow of power brusquely stops, making you fall on your knees. And everything is silent. Tears start to flow from your eyes. After an eternity of silence, you get rid of the armor, which seems much more heavy now. take a last look at the armor. It looks like it is made of plain stone now. Its glowing aura has totally disappeared. As if lost in a dream, you climb up the stairs. The last side effect of the curse of the island. You feel your heart is very heavy, like you lost a part of yourself. Ooh. You believe what Freya said. You saved everyone on the island, but no one knows that. These events have changed you forever. Killed a volcano. What you got to say for yourself now, Freya? 
I'm Kari. I killed a volcano. Our survival rests upon your shoulders now. I need to sleep for a century or two. Okay. She doesn't have anything to say. Well. Considering this change of events. Maybe we'll do it this way. And. I don't know. Uh. I'm not gonna have you do that. Maybe we'll have you. Uh, tend to something I don't know you could do beast handling while she rests sure why not I say let's go Depression on Moira. Okay. Energized. Excellent. Stealthy close is done. Cheer up, guys. Good. Ooh. Minus 14 only drunk. Okay. Can he not get charisma? Because that sucks. Hoder's armor. Two, huh? Excellent. Alright, fix our sheep. I think we have enough wool. We have enough wool. Alright. Let's go ahead and put you back on sheep duty. Let's put the girls on fight excavation. Okay. Well, we'll deactivate party mode. Ah, Moira, why don't you hang out since you two get along so grand? Or... Yeah, we'll do it that way. What do you want to make? You know what? Nothing. Because... I am going to... Ugh. Grab some meat. Get our trap back. Lay the trap. And over here, blow the lid. Let's go ahead and repair it. Okay. Blow the lid. You's gonna make that and that for sure. For sure. For sure. Dog is gonna rest. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, that leaves you two. Hmm. Yeah. Well, you stashed, do you want to craft something? Dash, you and Eric could go mining, honestly. Or both you and Moira could. If I'm feeling cruel, which I kind of am. You stash. I'm not going to do this, guys. I'm just thinking. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, that's dumb. 
Huh. Huh. We could do this. And then Moira and Shauna could harvest. That seems slightly more reasonable. All right, let's go. Hey, one charisma. <laughs> and dog's gonna rest. Blow to Ed, make me some tasty meals. Okay, and one craft meal. Nope, roasted meat. I got it. I figured it out. You're now harvesting 100. Okay. More beast handling. More health on the sheep. Okay. All right, you too. Find us a fight. And no fight. Ah, well, mushrooms. And I think that completes all of our exploration. Yep, we are done. We have explored the entire island. Okay. Oh, congratulations. What do you want? A medal? An achievement? Alright, healing tent is repaired. We'll wait on the repairs for the forge and such. I think everybody else is ready to go to bed. Can I just have you take some mushrooms? I can. There you go, buddy. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. You can take some of that, too. Anybody else need to get their depression out? Moira? I think I'll do it to you, too. Okay. We should be in the safety area. Well, that is going to do it. Let's end the day and end the episode. And we're about ready to go take on Bjorn, I think. It's day 196. We'll maybe go to day 200 regardless. But that's it for this day. Give me another bottle, Eric, will you? I think you had enough. Give me another bottle, I said. Alcoholic, huh? Hmm, you've been drinking too much lately, Knut. I know, you think I'm dumb? I think you're sad. I've messed up big time. Ah, oh, I knew it. All this because of that damned leg and those witches. Rawr! Explain life to him. Sure, Eric, go for it. You're blaming the wrong people, Knut. You didn't have to take out your rage on your wife. You chose to. After losing your leg, you could have welcomed this new life with your wife and kids. But instead, you rejected it and blamed the world for it. I've seen the horrors of battle myself. And believe me, I'd give my leg if it meant we could live on this island in peace forever. Hmm. Well, there goes my water. And we have a tasty cooked meal for, looks like, a stash. Unfortunately, he's got the highest of our hunger right now, so sure. Oh. 
Oh, he didn't get the dang poopy. Cooked meal. She got it. Let's give it to Kari. Possible. Okay, that sucks. Eric, you're the next most hungry. I guess you get it. And the rest of y'all can just eat. Oh, man. Honestly, you can eat any of this. I don't care. You can have it. Let's get rid of this soup. We don't need to hang on to it forever. Okay. And the rest, just cheese. Oh no, it's the dreaded diarrhea! Strikes again. Next. Dog is gone. Stinky's gone. Battle dog is gone. Weak is gone. Battle dog is gone. Drunk is gone. Hangover. Battle dog is gone. Dizzy is gone. Battle dog is gone. Battle dog is gone. Blinded is gone. Battle dog is gone. Battle dog is gone. Battle dog is gone. Okay. Hopefully we'll get it back tomorrow. Oh, I forgot. I got those things from the dog, too, to assign. Oh, well. Okay. Well, there we go. The day is sunny. We are almost done with the game. Maybe we'll press through a few more days to get to Elof and... Uh, see what happens on day 200 and then kill Bjorn? I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm late recording this, so I'll probably get to the comments uh, before then. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Till then, bye-bye.